So we're going to Grid Life South. Last year we tried to go, uh, I actually broke my foot before all of that, so I didn't want to walk around, go up the hills and stuff in Atlanta, I didn't want to like hurt it more. Uh, this year, we, everything worked out, we're on our way up there, we got our hotel, um, we're basically just about to jump in the car and start driving up there. Uh, it's like a five, five and a half, six hour drive, so uh, we're on our way to Atlanta now. First stop of the day done. We just got Chick-fil-A. Uh, chicken wasn't cooked enough. Mm, kind of disappointing. But uh, back on the road. So we just got ourselves checked into the hotel. I just gotta put my stuff down. Uh, we're actually gonna run out now. We're gonna go meet up with Joseph Dale from Southern Fresh. He's taking us out to dinner. He's actually the one who hooked us up with these passes. Uh, super hyped for tomorrow. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, I think we're gonna get tacos or something like that right now on the other side of town. Uh, man, it's been a long day. Hopefully you enjoyed the time lapses and everything. I tried to shoot a little bit of different stuff. Tomorrow morning we have a media meeting and all the other stuff like that. So anyways, we're gonna head back out now. I do exist. Oh man, we're on a dinner date right here. Okay. Girlfriend's over here, but... Nah, just me and him. It's personal. <laughs> yep, it's personal. See the wood eyes in too? We're at Holy Cow, <coughs> All right, so we're back in. Just came to the computer to check everything on Facebook. I'm gonna start pulling the videos off of the camera, putting them on, on the computer. That way I'll start organizing them into Final Cut. That way, like, when I start to edit the video, it's a little bit more ready to go. It's not so much of a drag when I get back to the house. Um, I'm trying to shoot more video, but I'm also trying to do more, like, meaningful videos, so there's more stuff going on. But anyways, uh, Joseph dropped us off in his, like, crazy workshop. I did post, like, one little clip of it. I only had my cell phone with me, so please excuse, please excuse the quality. Um, tomorrow morning we have to be up super early, so I'm probably just going to wrap this part of the vlog up now and kind of end it for the night, and then I'll pick up with it in the morning, so uh, I'll see you guys then. Uh, it's early in the morning. We actually filmed a little bit before, but I don't really have much of it. I don't know. It's like nothing too good. Uh, I ended up dropping a lens and smashing my Sigma front, like front element, cracked the filter, a bunch of nonsense. It's been a rough day. Uh, but we're going to walk around. I'm going to put the Ronin together. I'm going to put the smaller lens on. Hopefully, I'll show you some of the car show stuff, give you a little bit of the atmosphere, and we'll film some racing. I'll kind of talk in the middle. I'm trying to say hi to everybody also, and then pulling the camera on and off the Ronin. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Two, yep, yep. Anyways, yep. we're going to go film.
under the hood of that G, uh, again, that car has to be up the corner.
right, so we just wrapped up some of the drifting. Uh, basically, there was an accident earlier. I didn't get coverage of the initial accident, like the big one that happened with the, the road race guys. Um, so that ended up cutting one of the drift sessions short. So they basically like kind of lumped two together and had a full run of all the drift cars together. Um, essentially what I filmed just now, I got like, I actually caught one of the crashes. I actually caught two of the crashes. Hopefully all the footage came out. I haven't checked yet, but I did see one for sure on video. Um, we'll know soon, I guess when I get back to the house and I start editing and I guess you'll have seen it already. I don't really know, whatever. Anyways, shout out to Max's Tires. Uh, shout out to Tag for giving us rides around everywhere. Um, I'm gonna go to the other side of the pits right now and then continue filming, I guess. So after we made our way back down to the pits, um, I ended up kind of getting like introduced to somebody and then we ended up talking and kind of having a meeting and then that lasted like two and a half hours almost, it was like crazy. Uh, we just ended up just getting caught up and talking about everything and random stuff, whatever. Um, we did film a little bit of the post crash stuff, uh, which you may have seen already. And uh, then we ended up attending the Ludacris concert and so that was cool and um, basically I'm just gonna go into detail about everything tomorrow when I wake up that way I like I can give a better breakdown of things after I've like thought a little bit more about what I want to say and stuff like that so I'll see you in the morning had to, had to struggle huh yes early in the morning <laughs> can I check me out yes yes have a great day you too hope you enjoyed your stay thank you thank you, you. Guys, you guys have a good day How you too? like 
5 o'clock. We didn't really have anything else to eat the whole day, and we didn't have enough water. Because we're Atlanta so spread out, it's really hard to plan around stuff like that. So, basically, if you're going there, you know, try to bring a book bag, stack some water in there, or something like that. Like, that's where we messed up yesterday. But, anyways, um, I guess we're driving home now, and, like, you know, I wanted to kind of get my opinions on, like, the way the whole event went and everything. So, it seems like, it seems like a really good event in the making. Like, as it grows and progresses, I think they'll get through the growing pains of, like, learning about, like, how they need to handle certain situations or how, like, you know, just the way the, the track, like, I guess functions. There were a lot of things that, like, I kind of saw that were, like, from previous years of doing motorsport events and shooting, like, media and stuff like that, there were a bunch of, like, little things that I saw that didn't really, like, I didn't really catch. I was like, oh, like, that's not supposed to happen or you're not supposed to do that or whatever. But I they're still new it's only their second year year i'm sure like as things progress like it will get better um the event was really good the the only thing i saw as far as like actual motorsport stuff is that like the drift guys didn't seem like they got enough uh track time like i i heard some complaints about that but like when they were running everybody was super happy and super hyped on that um there were a bunch of like basically what would happen was like they'd get like X amount of time to go out, they'd drive out, and then, like, someone would spin or something would, like, happen, and because there were so many cars on the track, everybody would have to stop, and then they would basically lose, like, half their, half their seat time because somebody was on the track sideways or whatever it was, but, I mean, it made for a really amazing show to watch, you know, like, all these tandem cars, all these really dope, like, builds, like, you know, a lot of hot boy stuff, not just, like, the, the premium sponsor cars that you always see at, like, other, like, events and stuff. It was like very grassroots. It had a very grassroots feel to it. So it really felt like, you know, our friends and very relatable. Um, and then same thing for the for the, the time attack events. It was like very relatable because you could see like, there were a lot of cars that like, it felt like you could own or anybody could own. So, I mean, that made for a lot like, it made for a really good feel and like it felt like at home almost on the track. The the Ludacris concert was really good. I was, I was actually really surprised. I don't, I never would have, you know, paid to go to a Ludacris concert, at least now anyways, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know of any singles or anything he has out, but he put on a great performance and it was really good. Um, you know, I don't know, what, what else went on? Um, the car show was bigger than I thought too. There were a lot of cars. I mean, minus the one that everybody's kind of poking fun at on the internet, and, uh, all the rest of them were pretty like solid. Uh, there was a ton of really nice stuff. Um, a lot of cars that I hadn't seen before, you know, especially coming out of Florida, we see a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again. So we did see a lot of really nice stuff, you know, what Georgia has to offer and what people travel to the event. Um, you know, I hope to go next year, you know, we'll see what's up and hopefully we'll get actual media, like on track media, as opposed to what we had was tier two media. Um, but even with that, it still worked out because we ended up getting to hang out with the Maxis guys and like those dudes, you know, helped us out and drove us around a bunch on the golf carts. So, I mean, we're not as sore as we could be, but, uh, you know, shout out to those guys too, because that saved us a whole hell of a lot of walking time. Um, but yeah, like it just, uh, it's going to grow. I think this event's something to look forward to in the future. And I think like as things progress, this will probably be one of the best events that you can attend. Um, I had really high expectations for it, so I kind of went into it like, you know, expecting chaos and craziness and all this other stuff, but it was really good. I mean, it was really fun. I, I definitely recommend checking it out next year. Hopefully, we'll get more people to come out and stuff like that, you know. Um, I guess I'm just going to wrap up this part here. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive. We'll be home in like eight hours, and maybe I'll do a little bit more filming then. So we just made it back to our house, uh, pulled in, got all our stuff out, stuff like that. Um, I just want to say thanks again to Joseph Dale from Southern Fresh. Uh, I'll have a link to their website below. They hooked us up with the passes to get in. Um, other than that, you know, I kind of wanted to do more talking during the weekend, but I was blowing through batteries really badly with the Sony camera. Um, I really want to start doing like a little bit of walking around and talking while I'm at shows as well as filming because I usually film on the Ronin cause, and that stops me from being able to film like uh, face-to-face -face stuff it's got to be like 
either this or that. So I want to start bringing around a little camera and kind of doing little interjections with me doing more commentary on stuff. Um, maybe I'll do that in the future. Other than that, um, the weekend was awesome. Everybody in Georgia is super nice. I mean, there was like, I mean, everybody from the hotel staff to the people at the track, just random people we ran into. It was crazy. Like everybody was just super positive. Everybody was having a good time everywhere we went. It was, you know, it's not normally like that in most cases of going out regularly, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but it seemed like everybody had a good, good weekend in general. Um, anyways, tomorrow I guess we're gonna try and fix that lens. I'm gonna start putting this vlog together. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy the coverage when this is all up. If you're watching this now, I guess it's up. Um, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks.